Hi, hello everyone, Ruby here. And today I want to show you guys an amazing farm um, for gear. If you're looking for like the Monarch set, the Spellbinder set, or even the Hawk set itself. And essentially this farm here takes less than a minute to complete because it's two chests that we're going to rapidly grab and reset the game basically. And what we're looking for is this location on the map over here. And zoom out. And so this is the over overall map itself. Um, this is the starting area over here. And so from here, if we go towards the eastern side of the map, towards the edge, and if we go up a little, and our point of reference here, it's going to be the ancient spire, the one in Kindle Wastes, the fast travel location there. And if you look towards um, the northern western side from that location there, you're looking for where it says Far Away Tarvern on the map. Far Away Frey Tarvern on the map itself. And you're looking for this town here called Brittlebush. Okay. Now from Brittlebush here, there is a natural bridge occurring over here. And this is where we're going to farm, or we're going to um, start from. And we're going to farm down below here where I have my custom marker. And this is a natural bridge. And uh, you see when I, so what I did here is I set up a shrine. There we go, where I can commune into flame. And the town is right below. And so I'm going to show you how quick and easy this is. So all you do is just jump down. And we're going right here. And the first chest is right here. We'll open it. We'll grab it, we'll run, jump, glide a little bit, jump again, and this is the second chest here. I won't grab it, and that's it. And we'll exit back to the main menu, we'll load back in, and we'll do the exact same thing again. Now the cool thing about this chest is that this is the only location I've found in the game so far, wherein it has a good enough chance to drop the Monarch set, which is the set over here. The Gloom Monarch set itself, which is the, the headpiece, the chest, the, the pants, the gloves, the boots. It's also the only place where I've found it to drop the Spellbinder set itself. Okay, so this is the Monarch here. This is also the Monarch here. So I'll just put those together there. And then the Spellbinder, which is this one here. And then also the Hawk set itself. Okay, Spellbinder is mainly for melee um, players. The Hawk set is for agility based players or um, rogue type players when it comes to stam regen and stuff like that. And then you have the Spellbinder set here. Okay. Now we'll just do the exact same thing, just drop down, glide a little bit. Sorry, we'll just grab it here. Grab the second one. And that's how quick and easy the um, run is. Now, the gear I have on my screen here in my inventory is what I've, I've gotten so far. And this is stuff I've gotten in less than 10 minutes of um, farming. Um, give or take, I think it's about 6 or so minutes I've, I've done this. You can complete this run in less than 30 seconds. You just load in, jump down, grab it to chest, load out, jump back in again, do the same thing. Uh, you notice here that you can also get like the Shield of Light. You can get... Um, legendaries also like the White Wolf sword, uh, sword, the Scorching Wand, the Enflamed Sword, and also the Ritual Tempest Wand for shock based spellcasters. And so we'll do it just one more time. And if you time it, you see that it's you can get this done in less than 30 seconds, it's very quick. And because of how quick it is, you can easily get the um, full set in uh, no amount of time at all. So this is this is the best I've found so far. And again, just drop down, use your glider, grab the first chest, grab the second one. And see, now we got a legendary in that one. We got Shadowbane, which is this one right here, which is a pretty good. Um, shot bow and that's it guys that's the entire run itself you just go to that point on the map actually let me show you one more thing actually let me show you this too real quick 
And so if you if you don't have a shrine here and you're looking on how to get here, the best thing to do here is to let's see here. You can use this tower here. Or let's see what else where else here. You can even use this tower here, but there are numerous ways in which you can get to this location here. This overpass here. And then from there just drop a shrine there and then just start farming. That's how easy it is. And that's it folks. And with that, Ruby out. See you guys later. Bye.